Hello, this video is going to be a review of the Valiant Ecotech Pro Combination Boiler. Whether you're a homeowner or an installer, this video should help you decide whether it's the boiler for you. I'm going to run through some details of the boiler and then I'll show you how to use it and how it operates. And of course, then I'll show you what's inside the boiler. Somewhere in amongst all that, I will talk to you about the timer or programmer you can use. Now, whether you want to use your smartphone so you can control your boiler from there, or whether you want to use a standalone programmer like the Honeywell T3R, or whether you want to use the Valiant 24 hour time clock, there's lots of options and I'll go through those with you. Straight from the off, I will say that this is a boiler that I do recommend and I do install for my customers. Now, these boilers come in three power ratings. You have the 24, the 28 and the 30 kilowatt boiler. Now, when you try and decide what size boiler you need, the power of the boiler is a relation to how much hot water it produces, not your central heating. A typical house would be, say, three up and three down. That only needs between 10 and 15 kilowatts of power. So you can see there's plenty more power on top of that. And that is purely for your hot water. Now, I would always recommend going for a more powerful boiler if you can. You can still go for the 24 kilowatt boiler, but it just means that when you go to fill your bath, it's just going to take a little bit longer. And then if you try to do it on two taps at the same time, you may find the flows very slow. But if you go for the more powerful boiler, like the 30 kilowatt, it's just all round and more comfortable. Your shower is going to be a bit more powerful, your bath is going to feel quicker, and you're going to be able to turn two taps on. Now, this is a photo which I took in one of my customers' homes. Now this is the Ecotech Plus and not the Pro, which is what I'm talking about here. And what I wanted to show you was how it lines up with the cupboards in the kitchen. So Valiant have designed this so it is exactly the same height and depth as your standard wall unit. So it blends in really nicely in your kitchen. And this boiler is exactly the same size as a Pro boiler. Now I've taken this little bit of data from the Valiant website and of course you can go and visit their site and you can see that the Valiant boiler is an A rated boiler and it has a SAP rating of 89.3 which means it's just a very efficient boiler. You can also see it's got a quiet award and it's also won which is best boiler in 2020. Now straight out of the box, the boiler has a two year guarantee. Now, if your engineer who's installing it is registered with Valiant and he registers the boiler on the Valiant Advanced Scheme, the guarantee would then be boosted up to seven years. And that's well worth having. That's parts and labor supplied by Valiant. If you want to watch my review on the Valiant EcoFit Pure and the Valiant EcoFit Plus, then you'll find those reviews down in the description below. And if you want a more detailed video about all of these boilers, then again, you'll find that in the description below. I hope this review has been useful so far. I'm going to quickly whisk through my intro now and then get straight back on with the review. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you find this video helpful in any way, then please give me some feedback by clicking on that thumbs up and that will also help others to find the video. If you think this video is useful, then click on that subscribe. And if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video, then click on that bell. And of course, share the video with your friends. And I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos, which will hopefully help you. And don't forget, check out my website where I've categorized all my videos and I've left links to all the products and parts that I recommend. Now this system used to be a traditional system with loft tanks and a hot water cylinder and there used to be a small boiler in this cupboard. And a year ago, I took all that out and replaced it with this combination boiler. And the two older people living here are really happy with it and they tell me that it saved them a considerable amount in gas. And that's because they're no longer heating up that large hot water tank twice a day. They're only heating up the water that they use. Now, if we take a closer look at this boiler, you can see there's a large Valiant badge on the front there. There's no front door on this boiler. So the controls and any labels are on display. And you can see this is an Ecotech Pro 30. 30 standing for 30 kilowatts. Now here on the right, we have the on and off button. So that's the power button. And if I light up the display by pushing a button like that, you can see that when I push the power button, the boiler is then turned off and the display then goes out as you can see. And then if I turn the power back on again by pushing the button, you can see the boiler says loading and then the boiler is back on. Now let's take a closer look at the controls. Now the display is always on, but it's not lit up. So if we press a button so we can see it a bit clearer, the display lights up so you can see that nice and clearly now. And there on the front, we have our temperature that the boiler is at now. We've got a pressure gauge here, which indicates how much pressure is in the system. We've got a picture of a tap there and a picture of a radiator here. If we want to adjust the temperature of our hot water, we push the button directly underneath and exactly the same for the central heating. And then we've got a plus and a minus button to adjust those settings. 
And then down here is a reset button. To show you how easy that is to use, I just push that button underneath the hot tap and then it shows the temperature that the hot water is set at now. We can then just adjust that temperature up and down by pressing the plus and the minus button and then we press, press a tick afterwards to set that setting. Then I press the back arrow to go back to the normal display. Now this boiler also has a function called comfort where it keeps the boiler pre-warmed and it just means your hot water will come through just a little bit quicker. This can be a useful function in some instances, maybe if you're on a water meter. We can turn that function on and off by pressing the plus or minus button. In general, I always recommend having this function turned off. If you want to know more about this function, then you can watch my other video, how to operate the Valiant Ecotech Pro. Now to adjust the temperature of that our radiators get to, we just push the button underneath the radiator. We can see it is set at 65 degrees which is the recommended optimum temperature for our radiators. You can see we can easily adjust this temperature by pressing the plus or minus buttons to make the radiators hotter or cooler. And then we can just press the tick button again to set that setting like that. Nice and simple. Now, if we want to see a more accurate reading of the pressure that's in our system, we can press this button here and then we can see exactly how much pressure is in the boiler. And at the moment, this boiler has 1.3 bar in it. Now this pressure does need to be maintained and topped up every so often. And you do that from an external filling loop because this boiler doesn't come with a built-in filling loop. So I'll just show you that. So I'm just gonna turn these two valves here. That's gonna to top the boiler up and we're gonna see this pressure rise on the front of the boiler here. And there we are, it's going up 1.4, 1.5. I'll now close the valves. And there we go, that's pretty straightforward also. And then I can just press back again to go back to the normal display. To show you the boiler in action, if I turn a hot tap on, you'll see the hot tap appears in the display, and then the flame comes on in the corner there, indicating that the boiler is lit and it's heating up your hot water. If I turn a hot tap off again, the flame goes away and the tap goes away also. Show you what happens with the central heating. If I turn the central heating on, you'll see a radiator symbol will come up in the display like that. Just gonna press a button to light the display up so we can see it a bit clearer. There we go. And there's the radiator symbol. And then we'll see the flame will come up in the corner there and the radiator symbol will start flashing, indicating that the central heating is now heating up. And then if I turn it off again, the radiator and the flame will then go off and the boiler would then be in standby mode again. Now this boiler has the standard information mode, which is the S mode, where we can just check exactly what the boiler is doing at this point in time. But this is more useful for the engineers. We can also go into the engineering mode where we have the standard Valiant engineering settings. So we have the D settings where we can adjust the boiler parameters. We have the P settings, and then we have the fault history. Now you don't need to worry about those, but they are really useful for the engineers. And then the final button on the front of the boiler is a reset button. If you ever got a fault code come up in the display, you would push this button to reset the boiler. And there you can see it says loading and now the boiler is reset. Now this boiler can also be fitted with the Valiant 150 time switch, which is a nice and simple 24 hour timer. And that can be used in conjunction with a room thermostat or this wireless room thermostat. Or you could use a wireless programmable room thermostat like this Honeywell T3R. Or you could use a smart control like Hive, Nest, or this Valiant Senso Comfort Control. Now let's take a look inside this boiler. I'll just fold down the front panel here, which holds the PCB. Now all these components are pretty much in every combination boiler these days. They may look slightly different and be made by different manufacturers. One of the things I like about Valiant boilers is I can change most parts within the hour. Now they have a nice lot of copper pipes here, so there's no plastic pipes in this boiler. We have our diverter valve here. This just switches between our hot water and central heating. We have a hot water flow sensor there. We got a pump here, and this is a Grumfoss pump. They're known as being one of the leading brands on the market. And just tucked down there is a pressure gauge. That's really useful for the engineers. I thought I'd just add this is a modulating pump, so that makes it more efficient. There's the auto air vent. And then back here is a plate heat exchanger, which heats up the hot water. And then we've got a gas valve up here. And this is a nice straightforward gas valve. And then this is the fan. And then up here we have the pressure vessel to maintain the pressure within the system. 
And then we have the stainless steel heat exchanger. And that's the big shiny thing back here. And that goes all the way around the top of the boiler here. And I actually prefer a stainless steel heat exchanger to the aluminium ones. And this black tube is our air intake. And then on the top there is the flue. And this flue can go horizontally out through the wall or it could go vertically up through the roof. And these flues can be really long, a maximum of 16 meters, depending on the installation. This means that this boiler could be installed pretty much anywhere within the house, as long as the flue can get outside and additional pipes can be connected. I nearly forgot, we got the pressure relief valve down here, and then up here we have the pressure sensor. Just back there. I thought I would add there is no insulation or sound deadening on the inside of the boiler, but if we look at the front door, there is some on there and that will help reduce any noise that you may hear from the boiler. Having said that, the boiler is pretty quiet. So let's take a quick look underneath this boiler. So all the valves are supplied with the boiler, but there's no built-in filling loop, like on the Plus and the EcoFit. So you have to have an external filling loop and that's what this is just here. And for the engineers, it doesn't come with copper tails. Now over here, I've added this additional fitting here. This is just so I can flush the system out. And then just here, we have a strainer because this system was particularly dirty. And here is a MagnaClean filter. Any filter can be used, including the valiant filters. Now you may think that's an awful lot of pipes and bits underneath the boiler, but all combination boilers will have seven pipes coming off the bottom of the boiler, and they will also require a filter to be fitted. And that's standard practice with all modern boilers. And then finally, on the wall over here, we have the switch to turn the boiler on and off. And then we have the Honeywell Home receiving unit for the programmer. And if you want to find out more about this programmer, of course, I made a video all about that and you'll find that in the description below. Right, that's about it then. So I do hope my video has been helpful to you. If you want to watch my next video, then you can click on the link just here. And if you found my video helpful in any way, then please give me that little bit of feedback by clicking on that thumbs up. And like I said, that will help others to find your video. And if you enjoyed the video, then you can click on subscribe. And if you want to receive a notification the next time I upload a help video, then click on that bell. And of course, share the video with your friends. And if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos, which will hopefully help you. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.